Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Linux Techie. Hope all of you are doing well and learning a lot. So let's just start the video. Today in this video lecture, we will be discussing about reverse proxy using Nginx web server. So before starting the video, uh, let's just discuss about what is reverse proxy actually is. So a reverse proxy is a server that sits in front of web servers and forwards client request to, to those web servers. So reverse proxies are typically implemented to help increase security, performance and reliability. So it increases security just because uh, the client, the client uh, does not have knowledge about the actual web server because client interact with the proxy server only and proxy uh, sends the request to the actual web server and get back the request and send back to the client so it increase the performance because you in the proxy server you can also configure the proxy buffering size so you can buffer the request if your client or your actual web server is serving the request slowly so proxy can maintain the buffer and work accordingly and it is highly reliable so proxy servers are usually reliable because uh, <clears throat> because it maintains the proxy and also it can work as a load balancer as well so so in our scenario so we have a client and client will request for the website box1.example.com and the request will be processed by the proxy web server which is running on the IP 192.168.12.48 and the proxy server send the request to actual web server which is running on 192.168.12.49 and once the request is having the valid response it will send back to the proxy server and proxy server will send back the result to the client so <clears throat> client will never know the actual ip of our actual web server client will only communicate to the proxy web server so this is our client machine ip 192.168.12.1 and this is my proxy server box1.example.com which is running on ip 192.168.12.48 and this is our actual web server 192.168.12.49 so let's just move to the terminal so let me just check my virtual machines are running or not yeah so my two virtual machines are running and i have already logged in into this this is my one machine box1.example.com and this is my box2 this is my actual web server and this is my proxy server so let's just install the nginx first you can run this simple command to install the nginx so i have already installed so it is saying that nginx already installed in the latest version so let's just move to the etc nginx site enabled and if there is any direct or oh, if this if there is any file with the default you can just simply delete that file so let's just create the nginx configuration file for our website box1.example.com so suppose i am giving the name box1.example.com so let's just initiate it with the server block and I want to listen my website on port 80 and you can also use this colon colon 80 for the TCP v6 then we just need to give the server name and our server name is box1.example.com this is the actual name of your website and you can also define the access log 
and give the file name of whatever the file you want to use for the access log and you can also give the error log as well with the file name but I don't want this right now so I'm not mentioning it so the main thing is you just need to define the proxy set header you just need to set the header of the value x forwarded for we just need to set the header x forwarded for and the variable proxy add x forwarded for so it will simply add the x forwarded headers to your request so <clears throat> once the proxy server will send the request to your actual web server your actual web server will have the access or will have the uh, remote IP address of the client and if you do not set this then your actual web server will not have the actual IP address of the client and rather it will have the IP of this proxy server only so after this setting this header you just need to define the location suppose I'm for I want to forward all the request to proxy pass HTTP and the IP address of this machine yeah this is a simple configuration file and you can just save it and you can <coughs> test the configuration by nginx space hyphen t and it is saying that unexpected this in the line number 13 so line number 13 is this this simply give this and yeah it is saying that nginx test is successful so let's just start the nginx service and this is my client machine so either you can use curl http box1.example.com and it will say fail to connect to the this 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 connection port refused so let's check if a port is running or not yeah nginx server is running so let's just configure the actual web server this is the actual web server apt get install nginx and i have already installed the nginx just go to the directory site enabled and just you need to define the actual server configuration file here so <clears throat> here also you need to define the configuration file so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just copy this and paste it here remove this location bar and this also yeah so we can also remove this as well because we do not further want uh, we do not want to further forward the headers because uh, it is already forwarded by the proxy server to my actual web server so i want to see the real ip of my client so i can use the real ip header which is coming from x forwarded for and we can set 
the real IP from the range all so so we are accepting the connection on port 80 and we are accepting the connection request for this website and now we want to set the root directory from where you want to serve the web pages so I am giving this directory and my index file is index.html so let's just save this and go to the where www.html and set the message like behind proxy web server to my index.html file and just restart the nginx service so we forgot to test the nginx file as well so it is successful now let's just open the browser and try to access the box1.example.com so it is saying that unable to connect so firefox cannot establish a connection to the server at box1.example.com so you may also face these issues so what you can do is you can first check the server boxman.example.com it is saying that name or service is unknown so let me just check it boxman.example.com is this and running oh I think there is a spelling mistake oops 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 okay here it is okay is this okay so <clears throat> let's just restart the nginx server and check the nginx access log and hit enter yeah it is running so we forgot to restart the nginx service and here you can see the if you check the log at the proxy level in the proxy server you will see that 192.168.12.1 is sending the request get request to the proxy server and proxy server is doing just simple thing proxy server is forwarding the request to your actual web server and here you can check the where log nginx and access log here you will see the actual IP of your client if you hit this request again you will see the log and the status code is 200 so uh, make sure that you are setting these header because if you do not set this header then you won't be able to get the actual IP of client as you can see now we are not having or we are not getting the actual IP of client and rather we are getting the IP address of our proxy server as you can see uh, we can also configure the nginx proxy in such a way that uh, suppose uh, you have a node.js application running on localhost port 3000 and you want to serve it from nginx server uh, which is listening over the port 80 so you can configure the nginx proxy uh, as a reverse proxy so that all request is coming from uh, coming to the nginx server and it is proxy to the node.js application so let's have an example so this is the small workflow client request for the box1.example.com and the request goes to the nginx proxy which is listening on this IP and uh, nginx will forward the request to the prox uh, by proxy and to the node.js application which is running on the localhost 3000 port so client uh, client will only request to the nginx server and the nginx will 
use the proxy to communicate with the node.js app so let's just go to the nginx configuration file and just change the ip and the port number so my application is running on 3000 port and just go to the application it's my app and this is my app.js so i can also run it with node app.js or i can also start it with the app.js but pm2 is not okay so pm2 is not uh, properly installed in my server so let's just start it with the node so yeah example application is listening over the port 3000 oh we forgot to restart the nginx service yeah now just start the application and now if you request for the box1.example.com you will be able to access your node.js application if you close this uh, you might be getting internal server error or something kind of thing yeah bad gateway So guys, uh, in this video we have already covered what is reverse proxy and the definition of reverse proxy and a simple workflow with the practical example. So in the next video we will, we will be discussing about Nginx as a load balancer and we will, uh, we will discuss about the different different example of Nginx load balancing algorithm like round robin, hashing and etc. So, Hope you like this video, do not forget to like this video, do not forget to share the video and those who have still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much.